Hello guys, it's Game Plays. I'm Fabio Pisco and today I bring you a new video, this time with the overclocking guide of the Athlon 200GE. So as many of you know, this is the cheapest APU you can get from AMD. It uses, okay, it's an Athlon, but it uses Zen cores, so it uses the first generation Ryzen cores. The thing is, this was the only APU from AMD that couldn't be overclocked till something like two months ago. Yes, I'm always late. Anyway, now you can overclock it. Some motherboard um, manufacturers, for example, MSI, Asus, ASRock, Gigabyte, I think, all, uh, I think Gigabyte also, yes, doesn't matter. The thing is, they made it overclockable. So now you can overclock your Athlon. You can't overclock the iGPU, the Vega 3 inside, but you can overclock the CPU but you can overclock the CPU and that's already a huge boost. Going, uh, for example, from 3.2 GHz to 3.9 GHz is a huge boost in this kind of CPU, which is a two-core, four-threaded CPU, <coughs> APU. Sorry, I'm still sick. Anyway, well, before going to the overclocking part, just let me tell you this. The next video will be about a build. A build I made for roughly $750. The Fire and Ice White build, black and white, white and black, this case is white and black, but the Fire and Ice build, so don't miss the next video. Also, I received these two parts, so uh, Mars Gaming Mouse, okay, the M MM300-318, yes, 318, and also this Thunder X3 headset. I received the, these products for review, so I'm pretty happy. Anyway, don't miss the next video, don't forget, hit like, subscribe and share the video because that helps a lot me and the channel. And let's now go to the part that you really want to see. The part that you really want to see, the overclocking guide. See you soon. Get your serial keys at gvgmall.com. Use my discount code to get 20% discount on Windows 10 Pro and buy it for $12. The same applies to Microsoft Office 2016, which you can buy for $30. So guys, as you see, we have now we are here on the overclocking part. Now we have CPU speed of 3.9 GHz and the DRAM speed of 2667 MHz. While the BIOS is the latest one, it will show you the, the end of 2018, but it is in fact uh, the beginning of 2019. Let's go to the OC settings now, the first thing you have to see. choose You have to choose between normal and expert, choose expert. And it, it will unlock several settings, for example the CPU ratio, which I have at 39. Right now you can use, for example, 38, you can try 40. Uh, 40 is harder, but 39 is like the sweet spot to not apply much voltage and to win a decent margin of performance. The CPU core boost, core performance boost. So if you are overclocking manually, uh, well, you have the option to auto or disabled, leave it on disabled. This is my opinion, of course. I'm using on disabled the down core control, leave it on auto. Now you have the FCH base clock on megahertz. You have this on the, um, on the latest BIOS, you have the option to go up to 103, so, but, well, it can be dangerous and can uh, damage your hardware, so leave it on auto, which is 100. As for the, X, uh, the AXMP, which is for the, the RAMs, I'm using the profile one, but um, you have also a max of 2667, the CPU can't go further. I'm using the profile one with the DRAM frequency to DDR4 2667, like I'm showing you now, of course. So, since I can't go further on the frequency, what I did, um, what I did is to, is to actually uh, reduce the latency, reduce the timing. So, can't go up on frequency, let's reduce the timings. I'm using command rate one, so, same RAMs at same frequency, command rate 1 will be um, better than command rate 2. So, I'm using command rate 1, 14, 14, 14, 14, 34. 
So the T, uh, TRC is at 62 on auto, but you can leave it, for example, at 50. It will have no problem at all at 50, at least because the, the RAMs are downclocked. Okay, also improved in, in, in latency, sorry, but downclocked. As for the gear mode, you can leave it on disabled, gear mode, power down mode enabled, and the bank group swap. If you are having problems with stability, stability of your RAM overclock, you can leave them on disabled. Now on the Proc ODT, usually the values go up to 80 ohms, from 48 ohms to 80 ohms. This will also improve your RAM stability if you are having problems uh, on doing it. Uh, so, okay, timing, sub-timings, let's go back, okay, now to the, um, okay, no, no, let's, let's not go to this right now, let's go to the, um, yes, exactly, let's go to the, to the voltages now, okay, now the CPU core voltage, I'm using 1.3625 volts, on the CPU core voltage you have three options, auto, override and offset, Choose the override, which is like a manual, a manual option. So you can choose more or you can choose less. Every CPU is different, so your CPU may need more voltage to the same frequency or need less voltage to the same frequency. I found that 1.35, which is what the motherboard is actually uh, attributing to my CPU, so I chose 1.3625, but the motherboard is putting it at 1.35.2 volts. So 1.35 is the, the best I can get for 3.9 GHz. As for the, the, the SOC voltage, you can go, I always advise, um, from 1.1 to 1.15 volts. Um, but at least since the DRAM speed is low, you can go to 1.1 volts. The DRAM voltage to 1.38 uh, volts. And let's now go to the digit all power, which is the, um, the load line calibration. Uh, so the load line calibration serves for you to imagine. You can have, a, when you push the CPU, you can have different voltages from when you are using it normally. So imagine you have 1.35 volts or 1.36 volts normal, but you may want for it to go 1.38 volts once it gets loaded. And that's, um, that's, why this is this is here so uh, level 3 is actually the same voltage on load and on and on normal cases if you want more voltage go to mode 2 or mode 1 so uh, yes let's now go to cpu features you have the simultaneous multi threading and if you are overclocking manually my opinion is for the global c state the spread the spread spectrum and also the amd cool and quiet disable all those features. Disable all those features because you won't need them. If you want the max performance, disable them. Spread spectrum will also help you to, to have a more stable overclocking. And that's it. So, that's all for today, guys. I'll leave you with a bit of gameplay of this APU with 3.9 GHz on the, on the CPU part. Don't forget, you can't overclock the internal GPU, so we, all, we just overclocked the, the CPU. Uh, if you have any kind of doubts, don't forget, hit like, subscribe and comment, comment on the comment section because I will be there to help you in case you need me. So comment on the comment section if you have doubts and I will answer you as fast as I can. Thanks a lot for watching, one more time, hit like, subscribe and share the video if you like it. And let's now see the part of the overclocked gaming. See you in the next video. Destiny marches like any man. Right! <laughs> and Great to think, they call me a cripple. There is always a choice. The truth is no exception. I will not tolerate the appearance.
is secret. 